Hello everybody and welcome to the second part of our Bootstrap Dynatable Required JS with Dynatable Styling Tutorial. This is the second part. Before we get started as always don't forget to subscribe our channel share 07 and join us on Facebook developer.ahmadnasser at Facebook. Uh, first thing we want to cover in this series is Bootstrap. What is Bootstrap? Bootstrap is one of the greatest front end framework for faster and easier web development. You can get started and start with a website. You have many components, you have CSS, you have JavaScript components, you can just go ahead and use them. Uh, why we use Bootstrap? Because it's responsive. As you can see here, when we resize the website, it's responsive. It remains the same. You can view it on any device, an iPhone, you can view it on iPad, and even you can view it in desktop. So this is why one of the main reason why to choose bootstrap. Uh, other thing we gotta have here is Dana table or Dana table. Dana table is one of the uh, funner semantic interactive table plugins. It's not just for table. You can use it with list with anything in order to make an interactive table. Uh, for example, you can um, uh, make something like this table with search with pagination and all that stuff. Um, and we have required GS, which is one of the JavaScript file module loader. You can load the uh, files, CSS, JavaScript images, files, a, a JSON, AJAX, whatever you want using required GS. So the first thing we want to show you is how to integrate Bootstrap and required GS. Of course, you can download it. Click in download, you get the Bootstrap files, and you go here to download also download required GS. All the files are included in GitHub so you can get them and get started. Uh, first thing I want to show you is Bootstrap. How to include Bootstrap with um, uh, with uh, required GS. Um, first thing we have this HTML5 page, nothing fancy in it. Uh, we just got navigation par and we got container which is a bootstrap container we got sidebar and also uh, we just got two script in this file the first one we use them here the main CSS is the CSS file and the other one is JavaScript so where's the jQuery I don't see jQuery file here because it's included inside required GS and we call it throw out the configuration in main so we got the plugin here and its configuration here, the main thing for uh, RequireJS or like the driver for RequireJS is associated inside main. So instead of saying script, I just include all the script, the JavaScript files in one script called main. So we're going to cover this and we include main the CSS. So what is main CSS? Main CSS is the wrapper CSS that include all the CSS files. So if you go here to in the assets, CSS, you got main. So if you open main, you gotta have we imported bootstrap and bootstrap responsive. And we say padding to the body and margin padding top to the body zero. So this is pretty much if you open uh, the example that we have, which is index uh, HTML got this is the first bootstrap example that we have so what we're gonna cover right now we gonna cover two things uh, first thing how to use um, required GS so this is is only the script you have to include the required GS script and also include the main so where do I, we find them you go to JavaScript you go we have something called here require and this is, is our required GS do touch it we need to define a main that's gonna fire it when we start required GS. So this is is the main path. We define jQuery path here into uh, we define a path name jQuery and the location is associated with the current location of um, uh, our application. So here, if we go to index, we're talking about assets. JavaScript main. So this is is the default location, is, which is JavaScript. JavaScript is the default path URL for our website. So 
inside main we gotta have jQuery name or jQuery Mario or Maggio like you say and inside this we have a folder and we have the jQuery 1.7 which is the file name but we don't put the JavaScript here because it's auto loaded by required JS so if you open here require this is the script if we go jQuery you gotta have we load uh, jQuery minified version so this is the first thing we do but we just define it as a path because we want to use it later on here so this that's why so this is is the first jQuery plugin that we want to use we want to use one two and three what is one and two and three one and two and three are JavaScript files so this is, is how we define a function and we call it later basically we define an empty uh, function with empty parameters and uh, we return one and this is two return two and this is three return three you define the function you, you can define a function and later on call it by its file name so I'm calling here it's one to one the JavaScript two the JavaScript three the JavaScript and also we call BBT what is BBT we have a file called BBT the JavaScript basically it's um, it uses jQuery and underscore and backbone so notes here jQuery is already defined as a, as a path so we can use it whatever you want because it's defined as a path we have underscore underscore is other JavaScript file you can load it as it is we have backbone also you can use it and we set some configuration here I don't wanna um, talk about this uh, stuff because we we don't wanna use it a lot in this video uh, but just basically show show you how to load files okay we call also bootstrap collapse so, so what do we mean by this we mean by bootstrap collapse that you go to bootstrap folder and give and take the the collapse um, uh, script so this is what we're gonna take from the bootstrap files all right so this is how we define our require main function or require main uh, script and notes here that we have one two three four items so this is for jQuery this is for one this is for two this is for three if we want to add this we want to add another argument here and want to add this we have to put another ad argument here and so forth so what 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 is one one is basically one this is is the definition of uh, the module one so we just load it as it is because it's written one we're gonna print out in the console that this is one this is two this is three and so forth uh, we use this print f style like st uh, you know style in order to print out the scripts so pretty much what we have here we just require main main loads all the files for us asynchronously so this is pretty much what we do here so what about the the, the style sheet the other stuff we can load it inside required GS but we are not gonna cover this in this video it's it's um it's uh, you need to put a lot of configuration you define a base URL and stuff like that we're gonna cover this in a whole new series talking about only required GS uh, with other technologies like Salesforce and individual force but right now I just want you to focus on um, the loading of scripts and the loading of CSS we can do it using required GS but in this way we use it with um, uh, with import state normal import st statement inside uh, HTML import URL we just give it the your the path and that's it so that's why you're gonna go to this page reload it you're gonna see uh, we got a bootstrap um, uh, a bootstrap um, page so in case you wanna um, add more functionality for example you wanna add uh, make a website uh, that looks like um, something similar to this 
and you said okay I want a website similar to this so basically you got the bootstrap file so again go here into the body edit as HTML or edit as HTML got all the content of the body except the JavaScript so I'm just gonna get the container so this is is what I want go to this page for example because it's bootstrap page alright and just go to um, the inside mm, the body except the required GS and just want to replace just to show you that this works because we're talking about uh, bootstrap so remove it you can see we got that page in our project so this pretty much work fine you can see um, if you wanna scroll down you can see we got this um, par here it's remain bootstrap page you can use um, uh, bootstrap icon strap um, icon version 2 because we're talking about bootstrap icon so you can see here we got um, let me just go to bootstrap for example this video we wanted to make a new icons um, you can come to this project here you, you go bootstrap okay if you go back a little bit to assets you gotta see images so these are default icons that comes up with bootstrap so you can use them in order to use them you have to use their classes and um, attributes so for example if you wanna add a user icon you can just copy this link or let me just copy the whole menu here UL I just want to call me whole menu and come to my page here and say all right and just want to add a different menu here inside my instead of this I just want to add a menu so you can see we got all the icons so where did we got all these icon we did the, we get them and all these icon are, are identified using bootstrap because they are in bootstrap and we already load loaded them and that's it um, there's a lot of components in bootstrap you can use them for example um, if you want to go to um, bootstrap um, if you want to use forms you can see if, uh, if you want to use components in bootstrap like um, drop down list button groups, pagination, table, labels, typography, you want to use progress bars. All these are combined. You have to copy and paste and use them. And uh, we have JavaScript component like Moral. And Moral is really pretty much um, something really awesome in Bootstrap. It's automatically just um, get, give, give the button, define the Moral, you call the Moral and that's it. You have alert, you have buttons, you have carousel, you have this kind of slider. It's automatically defined in Bootstrap, so you can use it. Um, we have different components, different things, different plugins integrated with Bootstrap. And this is pretty much covers Bootstrap for you. You need to dig in the code, see different examples, and how to apply them. A lot of websites in the world today are using Bootstrap. So it's responsive can work in cross devices, cross platform, support touch and other features for mobile and truly um, worthy to try. Alright, this is pretty much what I want to cover um, about Pootstrap. In the next video, uh, we're going to uh, dig in a little bit more and we're going to cover um, how to use Dina table in order to work with bootstrap this is a bootstrap page but it's integrated with something called dina table so what is dina table we're gonna cover or dina table we're gonna cover it in the next video so again guys don't forget to subscribe our channel stereo 007 and join us on our facebook dev ahmed monster and gonna be thankful for that thank you guys again for watching don't forget to subscribe channel and see you in the next